Hello, it's October 25th. I've got like two days to send a film off. And today we're going to be getting some Foley sounds and Josh is next door. I've realised this is probably the roughest I've looked all through the year. Uh, behind the scenes, but Josh is next door watching the film for the first time. Josh, what are we doing? Um, we're doing some audio. So we've done mm. some audio mm. for Husky. I'll just save and close down the phone. What, what we're going to do is we're going to go through most of the film and re record a lot of the audio, get some great Foley sounds. We've sat, we've watched the film, we've made lots of notes, we've set up a little. Um, vocal area in the lounge we're going to have a boom there for some dialogue and stuff but the first thing we're going to do is this kitchen scene where Vinny comes in we didn't get very good sound there was a washing machine on you could hear some people talking in other rooms um, so we're going to reenact the whole scene um, and so we've, got, we've got our great assortment of alcoholic beverages so we can recreate the exact sounds of um, of an alcoholic um, Having a drink, um, and we go all out with uh, with expensive microphones here. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't exactly say it was expensive. It's sarcastic. <laughs> um, the good thing is that because we're just doing audio, you don't need the exact props, right. even though we're using the same Jack Daniel's bottle. This Jack here. Yep. Uh, I'm going to press record and then. Okay. Um, it's, do you want to do an audio test first? Is it definitely recording through that? Here we are, we've got our mic set up for Vinny's frying down his coat. We actually use logic for this, yeah. Inside the sound booth. <laughs> we can't cast it. Hello! There we go. But Hello. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. How's that? Plug the USB. Which is cheap. <laughs> right. That's pretty cool. That's all finished now. I just had oh. my, I just had my exercise for the day, didn't I, Josh? Yeah. I was, I was walking around okay. up the driveway and back because that's how that's how that's how hardcore it is. Oh, oh, oh. It's disgusting, <laughs> Joshua Ford. Oh man! It's a good job that like eighty percent of my viewers are men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they might appreciate the manhood involved in that girly fart. <laughs> it's quite pathetic, really. Right, we need to check the list, the list of audio recordings that we. Derived from watching the film. Nick enjoyed the film. That was his first time, <laughs> didn't you, Nick? <laughs> Nick is the uh, AD on the film. Oh, I've got to turn the screen off, but it's well hot in here now. Yeah, I think we actually got everything. Um, the list on this side, the bigger list, is actually just changes to make to the existing audio clips. Um, the only other actual yeah, recording. As long as I can have a slice. The only actual remaining audio recording to do is off. Of my mum's amazing role in the film. She begs me for roles in films. She's like, Dan, let me be involved. And I'm just like, Mum, look, it's, it's, as much as we'd like to live it down, it is a talent competition and, and you are not a winner. It's because you're a mum's boy. Hmm. Yeah, but eventually she, she got into the film. Nick was pleased about. Mm. Hit that 
No interest in your little gimmicks, your little games. Josh, do you know what my Facebook is for those that want to follow me on Facebook? Do you have any idea what the URL is? Dan Films, www.facebook.com forward slash. No, no, no. You can do it. The easiest way to do it is just facebook.danallenfilms.com. Easiest. So why easiest. Didn't you just say that instead. No, I said, I said, I said, I just, yeah. I thought. Stop arguing. Nick, what's my Twitter? Surrounded by socialites. AS Productions and Twitter. It is. I bet you're on Twitter right now, just <laughs> just so you could be correct. You are, aren't you? No, I'm not. Damn, FIFA. Josh's plan was to plug this video. What, what, what do you want to plug, Josh? Get it over and done with. Check out Careless, the best raw, unsigned artists. What and clothes want? and graphic design and all, a whole bunch of stuff. Any creativeness, any talent you got, we promote it. Mm. So if you think you're talented, come to Careless and we'll tell you otherwise. Yeah. Search us up, carelesspeople.com. God, this is so obvious. We could have at least hidden it a little bit. Beam me up, Scotty. Please remove your belt. Shoes and jacket, and empty your pockets. Please marry me, Siri. Let's just be friends, okay? Fantastic. I'm not sure what you said there. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Search for how much wood would woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> Love it. Hello. What day is it today? Um, 18th of October. Um, which is a Tuesday. Um, now, I think I mentioned this in a video before. Husky was meant to be out in August. But no, it is October. And it's still not done. But we've got to get it done for a festival, like, before the end of this month. Um, so, like I said, Chris Hansen's working on some amazing music. Like, he sent me some of the stuff he's working on. It's fantastic. And it's going to be great once the whole film is scored. But what we might have to do is send off a film without complete score um, to the festivals. Like, I, ha I have, like, a temporary score. But it won't go on YouTube until the score is done. So you guys get the, uh, the amazing... The amazing version of Husky, not this, not this, <laughs> this, this festival version. <laughs> um, we're gonna sell it as well. We're gonna sell it with some extra special features and audio commentary. Be nice if you guys buy it. Help us make another film. Help me out. My filmmaking career. That'd be lovely. Um, so today I've just got a couple of shots to do. Pickups. Um, a couple of pickup shots to do. Um, which is just a couple of shots to fill in the blanks of the film, so to speak. Filming this, um, it's a lot of school children. I'm filming this great bit with these two, well, you know, the three chavs which you saw. I believe it was behind the scenes day, it might have been day four or three, I think day four. Um, but we're filming with them three again, our amazing chavs. Um, and they're going to be egging Vinny's house today. But Vinny's not going to be there. We filmed Vinny's bit of this scene. This is, a, to be honest, the only scenes, apart from the interview scenes, you'll know, you'll know what I mean once the film actually comes out. So I advise you, once the film actually comes out, then watch these again. They'll, me, they'll make a little bit more sense. Actually will. Um, they're going to be egging Vinny's house, and then Vinny's going to run out and chase them, but we've already filmed Vinny chasing them. So... It should cut together quite nicely. I hope, anyway. I mean, there's a chance it won't. I don't really have much else to say, unfortunately. Um, what would you like to see? Uh, oh yeah, I'm answering your questions, aren't I? Um, what are the questions? Um, how do I go about writing a short film? Well, I find... One of the worst ways to go about writing a short film, ironically, is to sit down and write a short film. 
sometimes it's too forced, I think. Um, that is the problem with some competitions when it's like, make a film about such and such, because the idea will be forced, it won't be natural. Um, some people aren't writers, some people are the greatest directors of all time, but do not write. Maybe they will do later on, but they don't to begin with, for sure. like, definitely. So, what, what can you do? Well, I think the easiest thing to do is to find local writers and use their work. They're always looking to see their work made into films because a lot of writers aren't film directors. So, don't. From my experience, I mean, I can't tell you what to, how to do things because everyone, it, for everyone, it's very different. But for me, I struggle to sit down and write a film. But that's not to say I don't go back to it. So let's say I come up with a film and I start writing it and leave it and I think I'll continue that another day. I can then go and sit down and write the film because it's, I'm more talking about coming up with the idea. It's hard to sit down and then come up with a great idea because that's not how films are made from my experience. Um, for instance, I highly doubt that Christopher Nolan sat down in his living room and said, I want to write a film, and then ten minutes later he came up with Inception. Do you know what I mean? It's more of a walking down the street, oh, what a great idea. That's, your dreams are a good place to start because it is, essentially, it is unrestricted brain space where you can just come up with anything without thinking. Um, but what you've got to work out is that obviously your brain responds to certain things. Um, for instance, let's say you watch a documentary about elephants, you then might dream about elephants. And you might think, what a great idea about elephants. But obviously, it wasn't your idea. You need to come up with... There needs to be an inception of an idea. See what I did there? Linking it. Always back. Always, always very clever. It doesn't look like... My iPhone case has arrived, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. I'm going to get my keys from my front door. Um, so, I find for me, don't sit down and write. But, one thing you can do, which I like to do, is think about the sort of film you do want to make. Do you want to make an action film? Are you tired of making action films with you and your friends running around in the back garden? Like, I, I don't mean to put that down, I mean... I've got loads of videos of me and my friends running around in the garden. But I knew that. Sorry. I knew that that wasn't what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to write something completely different. I mean, I know a lot of my films are dark horror thriller type films. I didn't naturally say I want to be a dark horror thriller director. It's just where I naturally went to, if that makes sense. Um, you sort of find your calling a little bit. I spent a long time trying to work out what made me individual and unique, but the thing is, I can't answer that question, and I've kind of figured that out now. I don't know what my USP is. I sort of do now, but I, I didn't sort of say, that's my USP and I'm going to go with that. I just sort of did what felt right for me. Um, and Husky, as you'll see, is very, very different. It's still got dark tones. I'm trying to do my laces. It's still got dark tones, um, as always. But, it's a morally uplifting film, I think, um, with some funny bits in it. But I don't have too many intentions to make a comedy. That said, I am doing a sketch over Christmas about Minecraft, as requested by a very rude YouTuber. So that'll be interesting. Oh, this... You're a good man, Billy. You can't blame yourself. So what we got? It's the Vinny case. So he attacked the kid. Pervert took the kid. Took him back to his cave.